Back in 2002, the Crusade Endowment was created to help ensure 100% of every donation to the WHAS Crusade for Children Telethon would go to help children with special needs. The endowment exists from legacy donations that designate the crusade as the beneficiary of stocks, wills, IRAs, trusts, and life insurance policies and death. Here is longtime crusade supporter Brian Lindsay's story and his commitment to changing lives, even in death. Brian was, was quiet, but he liked people. He helped people. You could always count on Brian to be there to help you. He was a special individual. If he saw a need and, and he could fulfill it, he did. He was like the quiet friend that you always needed. Brian passed away in January of 2022, uh, very suddenly. It was unexpected. He, you know, all of a sudden was gone from our lives and, uh, and has left a real gap. Hello, I'm Barbara Lindsay. I was Brian Lindsay's sister-in-law. I'm Jim Holmberg, and I was Brian's first cousin, and he really was much more like a brother and a best friend to me. Well, I knew the Lindsay's since I was 14, and actually, I babysat Brian. In these later years, we would go to the movies together. The last movie we saw was Christmas, right before he died. And when he said goodbye to me, he kissed me on the cheek. And he had never done that before. And that's a moment I will always remember. My son Aaron uh, is, his, is his godson. Aunt Margie, Brian's mom, was his godmother. And so when I asked both Brian and Aunt Margie if they would be his, his godparents, they, they didn't hesitate for a moment. Brian was a huge U of L fan. Oh my God! Aaron uh, and and Brian would go to the Final Four. They'd go to bowl games. They'd do all this and that. And and so Brian and Aaron were were very tight. My son uh, would go to games with Brian too. Right. And they went to New York. And they went to a lot of places. He was so special. Brian's had a lifelong love of dogs. You never saw Brian without a dog. After Brian passed, we wanted to do something in his memory and helping to establish a legacy in Brian Lindsay's name. Barbara and myself and his five other beneficiaries, we have established an endowment here at the Crusade for Children uh, to help at needs children with service animals. When we tried to, to think of a, a way to really memorialize Brian and, and make sure his memory lived on, we knew the Crusade very well. We knew their just stellar reputation. The Crusade just, just right away rose to the top of the list. This is something that is important and is a real need to try to make sure kids that, that have these special needs will have an opportunity to, to give a service animal that will help them. For us to be able to do this service in Brian's name, because uh, he was so special, and the help that the dogs give will be so special. So it was a great way to remember him. The 70th annual WHAS Crusade for Children is coming up June 3rd and 4th in just a couple weeks here on WHAS 11 and 840 WHAS Radio. You can get involved now. Just go to WHASCrusade.org and click on Donate to make a secure online donation. Plus, see the many new ways to give, including Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Apple Pay, or scan the QR code on your screen right here, right now. 100% of your donations help make life better for children with special needs.